What's going on, everybody? This is Char on the Char's Media Pod. Welcome to my review video on The Batman. Make sure to subscribe and follow the channel, and here's the video. <laughs> So my review on the Batman, this one's very unique, such a different dark stylish crime noir movie and really it showcased a different realm of elements and everything in this movie that I really enjoy. This is about Batman is forced to investigate the city's hidden corruption and question his family's involvement when the Riddler, sadistic serial killer, begins to murdering key political figures. The tone of this movie is very exceedingly dark, noirish crime mystery investigative action drama, very serial and name calling strategy of Riddler on Batman leaving behind all those cryptic clues, the evidence mount and lead closer to Riddler's plan and turn out to be whole wide scale corruption of Gotham and the Batman has to unmask and bring justice to the city. I found this very more crime investigating and searching despite there were some good action sequences like Batman chasing down Penguin then towards the end of the scene. This film renders around Batman as an investigator role, investigating series of key political figures getting murdered, also diving into some questions about and secrets about Bruce Wayne's family, which turn out to be deep, complicated moral issues. In the movie, Batman's still at the beginner stage as the Cape Crusader. His reputation wasn't at that high as the level in the Dark Knight trilogy. Through most of the movie, in Batman didn't have the respect that we see or he usually deserves. A lot of police officers in the movie is like, hey, hey, you can't look at look at that. That's police evidence. No, 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 you can't come in here at this crime scene. Only Lieutenant Gordon, played by Jeffrey Wright, had given him the permission to allow him to investigate the crime scenes. And Gordon is the only cop that Batman really relied on and had trust on him. Plus, I really like how the interpretation of Batman is very tough. And also, there were signs of vulnerability shown as well because he was trying to establish himself and trying to gain traction as him as the good guy. And Bruce Wayne was not like the luxurious billionaire playboy with all the cool stuff he has, even he is. He was more subdued, shadowy, stayed firm and reclusive. He was more withdrawn from other people. It presented a very different, persistent and traumatic dynamics in the character's psyche. The storyline challenged different flow and perspective which I really found well with it. One point while watching. It felt like watching Seven. The reason why I say that, it follows a similar script to that movie and how the murder followed like that movie. But it turned out to be totally different from that. However, what I'm saying is that I found that very intriguing of how the traces in the movie fit so well to showcase something completely new fashion presentation. I like how it's a color movie. But also the entire movie felt like watching a light color black and white movie. I thought the color texture in the movie was very unique. It support very greatly in terms of the feel and tone of the movie. The color tune of the screen which affected the mood and quality of the setting in the movie as dark, muddy, gritty, rainy, dirty, gutty, corruptive. It showed nice skyline views of the city where the movie showed the shots of the bridges were beautiful. Overall, color illustration of the movie was distinctive. I like one of the shots of the moment when Whittler assaulted another politician and taped his face around while the shot was blurred. I thought that was excellent filmmaking usage to not just show the gross part but still show how Ridley does his things and feel the chill that was tense also i really love when batman took down falcone's man in the hallway while the only lighting in that particular scene was the gunshots that was pretty well done as well my thoughts on riddler he was chilling psychotic villain his strategy to do all those murders i thought he was fearless and fiendish 
He represents far apart from other villains who are dominant, violent, and oppressive. He was more serial, methodical, and simple villain. And I love the transformation of Colin Farrell as Penguin. It's amazing how the transformation in this movie, it's very eye opener. It's like, really? Is this really Colin Farrell playing Penguin? The sa- his vocal sound is very different as well. Of course, the looks, a lot of prosthetic makeups or whatever they use on him to transform to that. That was excellent. Zori Kravitz playing Selena Kyle, Catwoman. She was okay. Personally, she's not my favorite Catwoman in particular because I love Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. But she put a good frame of mind and embody her skills, moves, her intentions, and weakness. Well, maybe her mask as a bank robber's black knit hat as her mask could have done better. Have a better suitable mask. But I was okay with it. And Robert Pattinson as Batman. He distinguished himself pretty good. He held himself with good poise and interpreted the character with such a professionalism and show signs of disturbing nature also the totality of his performance is one of the better if not in the conversation of the best batman performance up there with christian bale i think he got a good effect from one brilliant christopher nolan the mastermind of the dark knight trilogy he endorsed rob thinking he's going to do well and rob was intended I think a lot of actors casted by Nolan do really good. He make them very professional and have them successful. That's why Rob indeed showed tremendous character aspect playing Batman Bruce Wayne in this movie. And he was so perfect for this role and glad to see him excel in playing such an iconic character. All in all, this showed great effectiveness in the narrative, character's description, psyche, color sense of the setting and feel of the movie and diverted to a whole new kind of standard. This one is more huge process of investigation by Batman. The puzzle and bewildered nature provide serious turn of events, reveal mystifying secrets and very large dirty evil cover-ups. This is not an origin story like Batman Begins. This one is more of a detail-oriented process of Batman as the vigilante investigator who is trying to become full form. He was more at the beginning stage in this movie. He aimed to strive himself to unmask the truth, put down the criminal corruptions, and bring justice to Gotham. I'll give a big four star. I thought the whole style and element showed and reached new level in every facet of the movie. It's very long, so There's a lot to invest in terms of time, but it's worth the time to spend to absorb the downright revitalization of the Batman, and this is a fantastic reboot of the Kate Crusader film. That's all the time I have here. That's my review on the Batman. What do you think about this review video? Please leave a comment down below. This is Charles Media Pa. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe and follow the channel. Take care, until next time.